the new channel. The new channel. Hashtag TNC now. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, welcome to the new channel. Our passion transforms a community that sees all things new. My name is Professor Roman Buison, the entrepreneurship trainer, streaming live from Valenzuela City. And this is Market Leader. Welcome to our Market Leader Season 2 special episode. The show aims to inspire students, business professionals, and MSME entrepreneurs by sharing the marketing excellence of global and local market leaders. Personal branding is the practice of marketing people and their careers as brands. It is an ongoing process of developing and maintaining a reputation and impression of an individual, group, or organization. Personal branding defines success as a form of self-packaging. Your personal brand is how you promote yourself. It is the unique combination of skills, experience, and personality that you want your followers to see. It is the telling of your story and the impression people gain from your reputation. In this episode, we share how did Francis Kong become one of the most respected business speakers in the Philippines. Let us all welcome our market leader for today, the top inspirational speaker in the Philippines, Mr. Francis J. Kong. Welcome po, sir, sa market leader. Maraming maraming salamat. Medyo ninender. Peace ako dun sa introduction mo. Ha. So, uh, thank you very much, Professor. Actually, for yes, having me. Actually, sir, it's, uh, talaga pong nanginginig po po kami sa tuwa at galak at pinoon na kanya po ang aming paanyaya na dito po sa market leader. Uh, Ma-share lang ko lang po sa inyo yung uh, brief story po ng The New Channel. Ang The New Channel po kasi ay ipinanganak nung uh, panahon po ng pandemic na kung saan po marami pong dapa dito po sa ating mga kababayan, nagsara ng business at nagkakasakit. Kaya nga po, what if magkaroon po ng isang channel na kung saan at isang program na yun po yung market leader na kung saan makakapagbigay po ng inspirasyon sa psychological part ng ating mga kababayang dapa at naghihirap po dahil po sa epekto po ng pandemya. Kaya po nanganak po ang market leader at nakakatuwa po at nakakataba ng puso at ang una-una po mga sumuporta sa market leader ay sina Kuya Paco Magsaysay ng Carmen's Best, 
si Sir Lafayette Lim ng NCC Mall at si sina Sir uh, Chris at saka si Doc Sammy Lim po. At sunod-sunod na po ang mga market leaders na uh, sumaporta po sa aming advocacy dito po sa market uh, leader. Kaya maraming maraming pong salamat Sir kaya hindi ko po matago ngayon. Ang sobrang saya ko po, nakapiling po namin kayo ngayon dito po sa channel na ito. Maraming salamat and uh, yung pong endeavor niyo is very noble uh, because uh, lahat po ng news na nakikita natin, bad news. Eh. And there's a, there's a marketing principle behind. Bad news sells, eh. good news don't. Pero yan naman ang kailangan po ng karamihan sa atin ngayon uh, despite the surrounding uh, negativity happening. What about by the pandemic? At ako, ako po naman natutuwa. As sinaman niyo po ako sa company ng mga kaibigan kong matali. Paco Magsaysay is one of the most admired person now with his ice cream business. Si Yet, uh, ng NCCC Davao, I was able to do a whole day, uh, whole day training with their leadership. And Sammy Lim is of course. Sino pa ba kung hindi si Sammy Lim which is with a franchising business and a very good friend of mine. So, Uh, congratulations po sa inyong channel. Mahirap po ma-invite ang mga yan. So that means you must have some magic charm and secret sauce with you that's able to pull them in. At uh, nakapag-contribute po sila sa channel. Congratulations on your channel. O nga po, Sir Francis, nakakataba nga ng puso. Eh. Isa ilang po lang po eh, sila sa mga sumuporta. Uh, kahit nga rin po si uh, uh, Sir... Uh, Cabinet Secretary Nograles, dumating rin po, pati po si na Mayor Gatchalian, para lang po makiisa sa aming advocacy. Kaya po ngayon po sir, na nandito po kayo na talagang isa sa mga kinikilala, tinitingala, at higit po sa lahat, nire-respeto na inspirational speaker at motivational speaker po dito sa Pilipinas. Sir, maaari niyo po bang i-share niyo po sa amin community Uh, sino po ba si Francis Kong? Ano po yung inyong humble beginnings po? Uh, not much interesting narrative to tell. Uh, kabilang po siguro ng karamihan sa atin. Uh, I, I started, uh, I, I was one of the best example to dispute the popular belief na basta uh, Chinoy ka, anak mayaman ka, that's not true. So, Well, graduated uh, from a Chinese school. Took me six years to finish high school. Uh, po, ang lagi kong sinasabi, I earned my PhD in high school. Ang PhD po, it is being passing high school with difficulty. Ibang attitude, magkas ang ulo, rebelde, creative siguro, mag-please ma board pag nakakakinig sa mga teachers na hindi effective in communicating ideas. And so, bumawi naman sa college. So, I set my goal and a vision on recovery. At sabi ko, there must be something better to do than to accept the status I am in. So, na-challenge po ako. And then, I uh, graduated top in college because I did something I never did before in my entire life in high school. I studied. So, hard work lang and went through the grind. Pagpasok naman po dito sa corporate world, nakikilala po ako bilang isang entrepreneur galing sa manufacturing of garments industry. At that time, yan na yung rage. So, ang tinatawag na namin nung araw ay RTW. Yun po ngayon, yun po ang nasa So, not a lot of people knew that my first entry into employment was not glamorous at all. So, ang unang trabaho ko po ay tagaayos ako ng mga mannequin at show window in what today's term is called visual merchandising. However, it's a good stepping stone. I did not like my job and being a top graduate in our school, katapos ko po ang trabaho. But I did apply what I learned in college, recovering from a failed uh, uh, bad performance in high school into the job. So, ang sabi ko sa akin sarili, I should never accept this as my staff. So, there's gotta be something better that I can do. So, I work like crazy. I studied like crazy. And then I set my goals. 
on the next step which is the kaya nagpag-aaral naman po ako nagpag-aaral ko yung industry kaya I'm so proud to say that uh, you have to start and you have to continue to renew yourself and then ready na ako when there was a vacancy nandun na po ako so the same principle apply my next challenge now is this Paano ba ba pipigilan yung pagbubuli sa iyo ng mga merchandisers sa mga department stores because you're a newbie and secondly, they have the habit of doing that. Hindi naman lahat, pero marami. So I said, hindi po po. There's got to be a way to do this. Kaya nga po, uh, ang ginawa ko, nag-aral na po. And then I have to force myself and say, I will not be a salesperson. I will be a person who will share business ideas for these buyers and merchandisers so that then their career will be better looking in front of their bosses. Kaya yung po mga ideas na yun, sinashare ko sa kanila, and pretty soon, dinadala na ako para kausapin ko yung mga bosses nila. Pati nga yung mga may-ari ng mga stores, uh, they become my audience. So, doon po ko nanggaling, but you have to understand one thing. Until today, you can give me a piece of a denim material. Give me the tools. I can manufacture a piece of jeans for you. Because that's the competence and the knowledge that na built up po from where I came from to where I am now. The same principle applies until now. Uh, boring story, but uh, that's how it all starts. Sir, nakakatawa naman po yung humble beginnings po ninyo. Actually nga po, um, marami po kayong nai-inspire. Isa na rin po ako doon na mamaya ko po si-share ko po sa inyo kung paano po kayo naging bahagi ng aking journey. Uh, pero sir, meron pa po kong isa pong follow-up question based po sa inyo pong na-share. Sir, ano po yung mga, uh, Papa, how did your earlier career choices lead you to where you are now as one of the most respected business leader speakers and top inspirational speaker po dito sa Pilipinas? Uh, it's a very good question. The reality is you cannot choose your career. So I did not choose my career. I just focused on the end goal, which is, ang end goal ko simple. So by the time I reach the age of 30, I should be a millionaire. If not man lang, to be a top honcho and the CEO of a well-known brand or a well-known company, yun lang. And then I will accept whatever it is that comes along the way. So yung timing po, ika, ika nga ni Malcolm Gladwell, never underestimate, together with Jim Collins, never underestimate the power of context and timing. Assuming in my pursuit for my career at that time, Established na yung RTW, then I wouldn't be in that field. Pero yun eh, nagbuboom. So inaral ko yun. And then, accept all the challenges. And that, that, that makes me realize na in whatever career or industry a person is, the same fundamental values principle apply. But for a person na masyadong nakafixated sa itong career ang pipiliin ko, so halimbawa, nakapagtapos ka ng med school, Gusto ko maging isang uh, surgeon by the time ganito. And it doesn't come your way. So, there was a time, if you remember, there was a time when yung mga doctors natin sa Pilipinas naka-apply as nurses in other countries. Those were very difficult times. And the uh, opportunity for medical practice practitioners at that time was very small. So, depends sa circumstance. Ang uh, deeper philosophical stand for it is very simple. Now. God has a plan. I'll follow what this plan is for me. But the fundamental values, principles, and the foundation, it is my responsibility to build. Kaya nga po, in my many years of venture in this decaying planet, in multiple careers na, I became a communicator, I became columnist for the Star, I have a radio program. So, doon na pumupunta, pero the basic foundational uh, aspects of requirement in bringing you from where you are to where you want to be, they're still the same. Agree po ko, Sir Francis, kumbaga po, 
uh, talagang kung kalooban po talaga ni Lord, uh, doon ka po niya dadalhin. Kasi kahit anong pilit natin sa isang bagay, kung hindi po, po tayo para doon, ay talagang igagabay po niya tayo doon sa talagang ano po ang magiging purpose natin dito po sa ating buhay. Sir, Correct. in terms... Oh, kasi, uh, sir, kasi Prof, ito po yun. Kasi kung ginusto kong karir maging artista, eh, bakit naman pakainin ako sa buhayan niya? So, stuntman, hindi pwede. So... <laughs> Oo nga po, sir. No? Kung baga nga po, kung baga, sinasabi ko nga rin po sa aking mga nagiging menti sa negosyo, kung baga, i-feel niyo kasi ang mahalaga, ma-identify niyo muna po kung talagang ano ang purpose mo at kung talagang ano ang passion mo. Kasi, and then, the same time po, ang inyo pong tiwala kay God, eh talagang kahit anong bugbog po sa inyo, eh darating naman po na you will stand out and uh, be successful po. Sir, in terms po sa personal branding, um, kasi po bilang speaker, bilang pong uh, self-employed, at uh, ngayon po, eh nasa market leader po tayo, uh, ang brand po kasi hindi lang naman po para sa product. Kasi nga po, as marketers, marami po tayong pwedeng uh, i-market ng mga entities. Isa na po yung goods, services, at yung pinaka nakakatuwa po, pati po yung person. Kaya po doon pumasok po yung parang personal branding na tinatawag po. Sir, uh, as Francis Kong, how did you po, how did you build your personal brand as the Francis Kong na po ngayon na nasa harapan po namin ngayon dito po sa channel? Well, you gotta go back to basics. Personal branding consists of two words, personal or persona. And the other one is brand, branding. So, ano po ang purpose ng brand? The purpose of having a brand is to create differentiation na ikaw ay kakaiba sa iba. Personal naman, depende yan. Because if you take a look at the word persona, persona in Greek simply means state acting. Kaya nga, meron tayong tinatawag na our personalities. So, Maraming nakakamali po in their personal branding quest in creating a persona. Eh, ang tawag nga dito sa Greek, eh, persona means mas mas karaya. Kaya nasa, Greeks are, are famous for their stage drama, they hold the mask. Hindi po yon ang focus natin. Ang pagkakamali po na maraming mga bata ngayon, yung iba, hindi na bata, nakakamali pa rin is they want to create a persona that is devoid of who they really are and what they can really do. Therefore, ito po ang aking maipapayo sa lahat ng nagahangat maging personal branding. Yung pag-create po ng personal branding ay isang illusion. You don't create your own personal branding. Branding today in the 21st century is not what you create. Because branding is what you receive from your constituents and your market. They are the ones creating a brand for you. In other words, you don't create a personal brand. You just continue to do what you're good at with the purpose of uh, helping and serving others. And then you earn their respect and they give you a brand. So they make you differentiate from the others. Kaya nga po, wala po akong intention to create my personal brand at hindi niyo po ako makikita sa LinkedIn or social media na kumukuha ng cellphone at pinoprote, Hi, my name is Francis Kong. I'm here to... Hindi po ganun. You just continue to do what you're competent at and you gotta make sure yung competence mo ay relevant to the changing times. And then with the sole purpose na ako'y nakakatulong sa iba sa pamamagitan ng mga ideas na sinishare ko sa kanila and in, in terms of services. And they will be the ones to judge. Kasi brands can be good, brands can be bad. Eh. Pag sinabi nilang, wag kang makinig dun sa speaker na yan. Wala na ginawa kung hindi nangungopia lang ng materials na iba. That's also a brand. Yung iba naman pag sinabing, oo nga, no? hindi ko naisip yan ha. Buti na lang nakapakinig ako dito dahil makakatulong sa aking negosyo, sa aking personal life. That's also a brand. Kaya marami mga bata hanggang ngayon, hindi pa nila get yun. I need to, I need to build my likes, uh, binubus nila and everything else. But at the end of the day, 
what is the product that you can deliver and how can you help your constituents and your customers? Kaya yung po ang aking, uh, uh, it takes time by the way, ha? hindi mo makukuha sa shortcut. You, let me correct myself, makukuha mo sa shortcut yan. Kaya mo dayain, pero it's not sustainable. Sandali lang magbabaklash yan. Yeah. Backfire against you. So that's my take on personal branding. Well, never built it. I think it was given and it was earned through the, through the years. Sir Francis, agree po ako sa inyo. Kasi po, um, personally po, na-experience ko po yan. Kasi po, uh, naiinbitahan po akong mag- uh, salita po sa mga MSME entrepreneurs, sa mga business professionals, at saka sa mga estudyante po. Ang akin lang pong uh, tawag po lang po sa akin that time is uh, the trainer. Kumbaga, ginawa ko lang pong zero yung O. At in English nga, mali nga daw yun. Wala raw po sa grammar. Pero oh, yung po trainer. kasi yung positioning ko po, <laughs> uh, zero, kasi po uh, sa nabasa ko po, you need to empty your cup in order to learn. Mga ganun, may rationale naman po. Hanggang sa one time po, na-invitahan, I got a call from uh, Valenzuela City Mayor's Office na inimbitahan po ako na mag-opening uh, statement, uh, opening remarks sa isang MSME summit po, ay MSME caravan po, Metro Manila po. So ako naman po, nagkakamot-kamot lang po ako sa ulo ko. Bak sa dami, bakit po ako na pagbigyan? Tapos nagulat na lang po ako na sila po yung naglagay ng yung first na word na entrepreneurship trainer na hindi po ko kam uh, 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 di ko pa feel kasi trainer lang po ang alam ko. Tapos sila po nagpaliwanag, mm -hmm. di ba ganito ang ginawa mo, ganito yung mga ginagawa mo. Kaya eh, sila po naglagay ng entrepreneurship trainer, na words trainer po. Mm -hmm. Kaya po yung sa binabanggit niyo po kanina, nakarelate po ko na you must to continue your, your uh, uh, kung yung kaya mong gawin, you're good at in inspiring and helping other people. And then yung mismong nakaka-receive po sa sa inyong mga recipients, sila po yung magbibigay po sa inyo ng pagkakakilanan based sa experience po nila. Kaya sir, maraming maraming pong salamat sa napakagandang well. pagpapaliwanag niyo po na nakarelate po talaga ako personally. Sir, isa lang pong, uh, ano naman po sa pagiging motivational or inspirational speaker po natin, ano po yung parang most difficult part na naranasan niyo po bilang motivational or inspirational speaker po? Uh, sa awal ng Diyos, mas marami akong mga pleasant experiences. Pero ang hindi ko lang po, siguro ang pinaka-unpleasant uh, moments or experiences, nanggigigil kasi ako pag na nakikita ko yung mga ibang speaker na hindi talaga tumutulog at kanya-kanyang uh, gimmickan just to be able to get a job or just to be able to get a project. So sabi ko, this other speakers, and by the way, that's the reason why I don't want to call myself a motivational speaker. May logical explanation. Use your imagination. Kapag uh, tinignan mo yung salitang motivation, it looks like a uh, combination of motive and action. Imagination. Though. It's not technically correct, but look at it. In other words, hindi ko naman alam po ano yung motive mo, professor, and I certainly cannot take your actions in your behalf. Therefore, ang paniniwala ko, nobody can motivate anyone except the self. Alam ko yung motive ko eh. I can take actions. However, you and I can inspire and encourage other people to become self-motivated by the ideas that we can share with them. So ang pagkakaalam kasi ng iba, motivation is you play with the people's emotions. Patatayuin mo yan, pasasayuin mo yan, magpapatawa ka. Yung iba, you, you can't differentiate whether they are really a trainer or they are stand, uh, uh, yung, yung stand-up comic eh, or comedian. So mali, you have to engage the mind. And so, yun po ang nakikita ko, bakit pa itong mga, ito mga speakers na to, una sa lahat, hindi nga nag-aaral. Secondly, siguro, they make false claims and resume. They spice up their, cosmetically dress up their resume. At pagkatapos, 
nire-rehash lang yung mga materia sa iba and then present it in the wrong context. So, they are not good for the business. Eh. They're not good for the industry. Ito yung mga sumisira ngayon, doon sa nobility and the uh, dignity of being able to stand in front of the public with the responsibility of sharing ideas, hoping that their lives will become better. Siguro yun lang ang challenge ko. Kaya po, uh, minsan marami pong mga motivational speakers na hindi po ako type at galit sa akin. And uh, I would understand that because the feeling is exactly mutual. So we have to professionalize this. Uh, walang ano eh, walang accreditation. Walang governing body that checks on their performance. Kaya people can get away with whatever they want to do. Uh, yun, yun lang lang po ang challenge na nakikita ko. They are not contributing to the dignity of this industry in public speaking. So yun, yun lang. But I, I hope they can mature and learn a lot, a lead, a lot more. Actually nga, sir, uh, pareho po tayo ng nararamdaman. Kasi po dito po sa marketing, uh, kasama po ko sa Philippine Marketing Association at naging board of director po ko noong 2019. At ang aking mentor po ay si Sir Josiah Go. Scholar niya po ko sa marketing strategy and uh, plans po. Uh, pareho po kami ng mindset na kumbaga pagdating sa marketing, uh, marami nagpo-profess na sila ay marketing pero wala naman po, hindi, hindi po aligned. Uh, Kung baga po, hindi po talaga sila yung subject matter expert. Pero ang nakakalungkot nga po, eh, mas nakakakuha pa po sila ng mga projects. Kaya kaisa po ko ni Sir Josiah na pinopromote po talaga namin dito po sa Pilipinas yung tamang marketing mindset at talagang para po ma-i-profess yung science po ng marketing because marketing is not just as uh, selling but it's a science because uh, it's involved state of the art tools kaya yun nga Perfect. po yung um, naging uh, naki, napapansin ko rin po yun sir kaya super agree po ko at kaisa rin yun po ko sa ating uh, advocacy na sana ma, ma, ma filter po natin yung mga ganitong mga speakers na ang layunin lang po ay makakuha ng project at hindi po talaga talagang pusong makatunong talaga po Sir, mayroon pa po kong isang follow-up question. Kasi po, curious lang po ko, bilang Francis Kong po, ano po yung leadership style niyo po? Uh, I have led a garments manufacturing company comprising of about 400 people. Pero pag sinama mo yung mga promotizers namin and contractuals, I will up to about 2,000. And then I've led a retail company where we opened the uh, we opened about four branches in retail, so mga malls, konti uh, lang yun. Siguro there are about 60. Now I'm involved with companies as independent director, one with about 3,000 people. Siyempre, wala akong direct leadership doon. But it all, it all remains the same. I would say that uh, the personality I have given on leadership, I think it is not accurate to say leadership style. Because there's no one leadership style. It all depends on the context, situation, people, demographic support, and so on. I would say that the personality of leadership that I do, as I give to my children now, lahat ng mga anak ko, successful entrepreneur. My son is in the food business. During the pandemic, nag-introduce po siya ng isang Japanese artisan ice cream na ngayon ay nag expand all over the place. And by the way, before he entered into that business, humingi muna ako na permission kay, uh, kay Paco, ha? Sabi ko, this is my son's business, so I don't know whether it will take off or hindi, but I just want you to know that uh, out of courtesy, my son is entering the same field. And Paco naman, being the gracious person that he is, sabi, no, 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 I will never think that you are out there to hit us. Sabi ko, we can always collaborate. You know? So, is into this uh, Kurimo ice cream thing. At matagal na po yung restaurant na sa maginhawa for Crazy Katsu. And then my daughter naman is a famous fashion designer in wedding gowns and cocktail dresses. And so, pare-pareho po, bilang, uh, bilang isang entrepreneur, it's the same leadership 
uh, principles that I've applied to my own family as I do to my to my to my people. It is what I would call participative leadership. I'm not there to tell them what to do. I'm just there to conduct an orchestra composed of people with different skills, competencies, weaknesses, and strengths. String section, horn section, wind section, percussion section, so that I can help conduct a piece, a, a harmonious piece of music together. So uh, it's a, uh, it's not a style, but I would say that that's my approach towards whatever companies there are, including my two consultancy companies today. So empowering them but then guiding them toward the, toward the same shared goal. Yun lang naman ang trabaho ko. Kunduktor lang ako ng isang orchestra. O oh, nga po, sir. Um, napakalalim po talaga pag kayo po ang kausap. Uh, yung nga lang binabasa ko lang po ang inyong mga post na inspirational messages po sa inyong LinkedIn talagang nakakadapaan ako ng puso, lalo, mas lalo po pala ngayon, nakaharap po namin kayo ngayon, sir. Uh, <laughs> sir, um, meron lang po, magpapatalastas lang muna po tayo at meron po tayong second part. Uh, uh, wag muna po kayo nga alis at babalik po tayo at tuloy po natin ang pwentuhan, sir. Ito po. The new channel is an online alternative new media platform of online shows for people on the go. Please watch all our shows as seen on screen. Imagine having your own show, your own playlist, your own content, but we make it easier for you. TNC aims to transform the lives of our viewers through engaging, authentic, and original content. Our channel is a responsible, global, 24-7 platform that showcases Filipino talent, global influencers, cultural intelligence, and ingenuity. Watch Market Leader every second and fourth Fridays of the month from 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. You can watch live or a replay via Facebook or YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, listen to us on Spotify, and Apple Podcast. Just search hashtag TNC now. For sponsorships, 
please email now at thenewchannel.com or send us a direct message. Enjoy these life-changing shows because we made them specially for you. Welcome po ulit sa Market Leader, Sir Francis Kong. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Sir, uh, marami po talagang salamat. Uh, ang nakaka, di ko talaga maitago na talagang ang idol ko po na nandito po sa harap ko po ngayon. Uh, kung di po kasi na itatanong, sir, before po ako nakarating ko ano po ako ngayon, dumaan rin po ako sa maraming pagsubok. At nakaba, na, nabasa ko lang po yung isa pong message niyo po na talagang yung po ang binitbit ko po all throughout kapag dumarating po yung pagsubok sa akin. Na isishare ko po mamaya bago po tayo matapos. Kung yung, yung quote na yun na talagang nagpatibay sa mindset ko, sa puso ko, at the way I... I, I influence and interact with others po. At yung lalo na po sa mga sinasabi niyo po about yung sa negativity na wag natin bigyan ng free rent space sa uta, sa isip natin, ang laking bagay po yung sa akin, sir. <laughs> sir, ang tanong ko lang po, sir, how how do you do it, sir? Kumbaga, paano po niyo nagagawa yun na parang hindi po kayo nauubusan ng mga positivity, at alam niyo po kung ano po yung ipopost ninyo at hindi rin po kayo nawawalan ng energy, sir. Ano po yung secret niyo po, sir? <laughs> Wala naman pong secret yan. Eh. Uh, the idea is, meron po akong distinctive advantage dahil po uh, I sit on the board of two companies that are huge companies. Yung isang nga multinational. So, nandun ako dun sa top level where in privileged confidential information is not available in public. Pero nalalaman ko yan, napro-process ko yan, and that puts me in a state of relevance. Secondly, sa daming ba naman ng client base ko across industries, bago po ako, katulad mamayang hapon, nasa isang uh, uh, top five-star hotel ako, addressing a company with 1,000 leaders, hindi members, uh, hindi employees, but leaders. And so, nakakausap ko po sila. Nalalaman ko yung kanilang mga pangangailangan. And then, uh, even during the pandemic, noong March 2020, hindi po ako nagbabago ng routine. I still spend about uh, five or four or five hours just reading up, researching what's happening, ano ba itong COVID-19, anong repercussions nito. And so, very, very filtered po kasi ang uh, pinapapasok po sa aking utak. Yung lamang po mga informasyon na nakakatulong sa akin dahil alam kong itong na, na, na kapabasa ko ay magiging part ng substance na maisishare ko dito sa mga clients at sa aking mga audience na makakatulong sa kanila. And of course, nanonood din ako ng K-drama sa gabi. So, these are the input of uh, notice this K-drama dahil malinis, pleasant, nakakatawa. And I don't I don't just watch all these horror movies and mga dark, depressing uh, pieces coming from the West na makaka-alter po ng ating disposition. So, with all of these things, I just would like to say na depende talaga sa motive ng, ng tao. There are two kinds of speakers talaga. One kind of speaker is to impress people with what they know and so the focus is on themselves. Ito rin yung mga taong wala lang ginagawa sa LinkedIn, saka sa social media, kung hindi yung pinapromote yung sarili nila, kasi sila'y napaka-busy here and there, pero nakikita ko pareho lang naman yung event na yan, paulit-ulit lang. So that's not very honest, is it? So you're promoting the self, kasi you want to impress. And then when clients get them, they're deeply dissatisfied. Another kind of speaker naman, it's not there standing in front of the crowd in order to impress people, but to express truth, to provide ideas that, they, that uh, these speakers know will help them. Uh, in my professional career, I can think of five people that I really look up to. I don't have their permission to uh, mention their names, so I'll just... I won't, I won't do that. Ito yung mga taong kapag uh, nasa lounge ako, naghihintay ng flight, o kaya nasa, kahit nasa aeroplano na ako, biglang nakita na iiwanan ko yung ginagawa ko, pupunta ako yan. 
my five or ten minute talk with them, I learned so much. So all of these massive things are ideas that I process ko, and then, siempre kinokinukurate ko yan, kinokolect ko yan. So with the intention of, hmm, pagdating ng tamang timing at context, magagamit ko to, ishare ko ito dito sa mga audiences in order to uh, to help them. So the intention is not really sabi ko nga, some people just want to be liked. Para siyang mukhang face, Facebook page. The intention is not to be liked. But the intention now is to be able to help. Kaya, uh, yeah, that, that has been the guiding principle of my life for the past one. Uh, years that I don't even care to remember and count, pero yung pa rin po, hindi nagbabago po yung motto. Kumbaga po sir, talagang social entrep mindset pa rin po tayo, no? Kasi para po sa akin, may dalawa pong mindset eh. Entrep mindset, profit po kaagad. Isa naman po, social entrep mindset. Uh, yung po yung talagang uh, hindi po profit kung ang objective po talaga ay ma-transform mo yung community o yung market na gusto mo talagang matulungan. Sir, sa pangalawang eh, segment... Matter of fact, uh, 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 without any disrespect, as a matter of fact, there is no such thing as a non-profit organization. Yung po ang sinabi sa akin ni Simon Sinek when we were conversing in New York. Sabi yes. na, you know, Francis, this is, it, it is a misnomer. No organization can ever survive without profit. Paano mo babayarin yung expenses? He would rather change the semantics and call it a high-impact uh, community-based organization. So, that's true naman. So, uh, uh, maybe that's the reason why, until now, I, I think it would be a safe presumption that, uh, that uh, the professional fees that the office is charging is a little bit high. But I still continue doing what I've been doing for the past 20 plus years. I still give pro bono presentations and trainings and talks in schools for parents, teachers, and faculty, and for faith-based community. I've never charged money doing that. So, yung bang, ano, you, we, we adhere to the principle that uh, the blessings that you receive is not intended for you to hold on to, but for you to scatter it all over the place. Or else, yung kaninang kinukwento nyo, like an empty cup, magflag-flag eh, babara yun. So, dumarating ngayon yung mga blessings mo. Pagka hindi mo naman binigay and spread it around, eh, mapupuno yan. Pretty soon, you won't uh, receive the blessings already. Sorry for interrupting you. Bro. Thank you, sir. Kumbaga, mas na-update po ngayon ng aking mindset na talagang pag nakareceive ka, iba to mo rin para makareceive ka pa po ng more blessings. Sir, yung sunod po na uh, segment po natin, meron po tayong tatlong uh, featured entrep at saka business professionals na talagang pinapangarap po kayo makapiling at Ma, may tatanong po sila sa inyo para po makatulong po sa kanilang community. Ang una po nating uh, uh, business professional, uh, papakilala ko po, si Ma'am Marilu Densing Dizon. Siya po ay Chief Nursing Officer of ACE Medical Center from Cagayan de Oro City po. Welcome po Marilu, Ma'am Marilu. Hi sir, good morning. Good Can morning, ma'am. Good morning. Yes, po, ma'am. Yes. Good. Ma'am, and dito uh, good po morning, si Sir Francis. Ma'am Marilu. Po. Yes. Uh, and uh, pleasure to meet you since you're from Cagayan de Oro. Masarap yes, po ang dichon. <laughs> okay. Padalahan namin kayo dyan. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> po. Yes. Si Biruna. Okay. Sige po, Ma'am Marilu, pwede yes, na, ma na pong simulan ang question po natin para kay Sir Francis. Okay, yes. Uh, I was really uh, listening carefully to uh, uh, Sir Francis' uh, statements. <clears throat> now, being a leader, I would like to ask him, what else can we do to motivate our people or our employees, sir? Mm. What else can we do? Um nakakatuwang nakakainis reality is that pre-pandemic, pandemic, post-pandemic, pandemic, pandemic, pareho pa rin po ang sitwasyon. 
Yes. With the exception, lalong-lalong na po kayo nasa nursing field. Ang laki po ng, ng attrition ng mga nurses natin with experience dahil hindi na natin kaya. We can't compete with the offer abroad. No? Yeah. Kaya nga po, uh, I think I spoke in the Philippine Nursing Association just very recently, or, or last year, hindi ko na po maalala, uh, agawan po in getting nursing graduates to join the hospitals and the clinic because uh, kulang na kulang tayo sa staff. And the recent uh, contribution and uh, participation of foreign European companies is they're opening up for healthcare practitioners. So that doesn't make our, our job easier. Pero apart from that, hanggang ngayon hindi po nagbabago eh. Survey still says the two top reasons why we lose good talents are number one, inability to get along with their immediate superior. They can't stand, they can't get along with their bosses. And number two, the feeling that whatever it is that they're doing is greatly unappreciated. So, simple kahapon po, may kausap po ako may ari ng isang hospital. Uh, in conjunction with a with a big company na nag, nag partnership na sila sabi ko po sa kanila if the doctors do not know and the, the leaders and the soups and yung mga managers po sa hospital niyo hindi po <coughs> equipped to do leadership they will be the ones that will drive these talents away eh, ang laki ng merkado sa labas eh. Eh, they they did agree Nagiging highly competitive po. So we need to really train our leaders on how to lead their people correctly. Po. Ganito kasi, you know, I really uh, answered uh, yes when Roman told me to join the TNC Market Leaders Forum because I also wanted to share what I have here in Cagayan de Oro. Uh, Roman, would you give me time to tell something about myself also and my experience? Yes, ma'am. You can do, ma'am. Okay. Apo. Okay. Now, now I'm I'm uh, Dr. Marilu Dizon. I'm not the doctor of medicine, but uh, you know, as I Sir Francis, I am a PhD. I have a doctor of philosophy degree, but I am a nurse by profession. So when I finished my nursing in the Philippines, I went abroad right away to work in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia. So during that time, Saudi was still under development and that uh, mm -hmm. I even belonged to the second batch of the nurses delegation na pinadala doon. Now, when I, uh, to cut my story short, I worked there for 30 years as a nurse. Mm -hmm. I started from the lowest rank of a nurse until I reached the highest rank, which is mm -hmm. the clinical nurse manager. When I was there also, I always accept challenges. When the hospital says you go for training, I will also always say yes. Kaya nakuha ko yung aking MBA. I am a registered nurse and I have master's in nursing and also nakatapos din ako ng aking master's in business administration. After my MBA, doon ko nakita kung ano ang mali namin dito sa nursing. Kasi puro trabaho lang alam namin. We don't know how to market ourselves. We don't know how to improve our personal uh, leadership. Kaya uh, na isipan ko na after 33 years when I came back to the Philippines, I tried working. I stopped working in the Middle East at the age of 55 in a very prestigious cardiac center in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. I have a very good salary. My family was there. Also, my husband was an architect. And uh, we were doing good. When I came to the Philippines, I cannot imagine myself sitting at home looking at the plight of the nurses. Marami hindi pumapasa sa board. Sabi ko, bakit kaya licensure lang ito tapos di pumapasa? Ito pa. Pagka-graduate, lipad na kaagad. Export product, maliwanag siya talaga. So then I said, I have to do something to help my community. Mm -hmm. I became the first chief nurse of a very big hospital in Cebu, the University of Cebu Medical Center, owned by a very uh, billionaire, attorney Go. 
He has five campuses. Now, when I interviewed him, ito ang tanong ko sa kanya, Sir, no ako estudyante, isa lang ang university mo. Bakit ngayon lima na? Sabi niya sa akin, Marilu, ang sikreto ko is mahalin mo ang mga empleyado mo. So yung sinabi ni Sir Francis kanina na ang kulang namin sa nursing is grabe coming by the book. No? Nagtatrabaho according to the theory sa principle. Ang application kulang sasabihin uh, empower your employees, empower your nurses. So ibig sabihin mm-hmm. sa empower means kailangan mo silang bigyan ng authority and information so that they can make decisions mm-hmm. and solve problems for themselves. Pero hindi ganun ang nangyayari. Parang kinokontrol sa taas lahat. At yung nasa taas naman, meron din silang, kung sabihin nilang dito sa baba may attitude problem, mas lalong may attitude problem yung taas. Yun ang nakita ko. Mm-hmm. Which is really happening. Kasi, mm-hmm. di ba sir, in management, dapat magaling tayong magplano. Yun, meron sila, may plano mm-hmm. sila. They also organize mm-hmm. their plans. They implement their plans. Pero dito sila nagkulang. They do not monitor and they do not also give evaluations. Kaya, kaya ang nangyayari... Ma'am Marilu? Oo. Oh, oh. Yes. Ma'am? Yes. Uh, ma'am, yung regarding po sa inyong mga uh, challenges, uh, yes. po sa inyong, uh, uh, sa inyong pong hospital, Okay. Uh, magiging kaisa niyo po, makakatulong niyo po ang market leader para po kung ano pong kinakailangan na training niyo po uh, at, at para yun. ma-bridge po natin yung mga gaps para po yes. lang, lalo po natin ma-improve ang inyong pong uh, operation sa productivity po dyan po sa inyo pong hospital. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, pagkatapos po nito ma'am, pwede po tayo mag-usap mamaya po sa backstage uh, okay. kung paano po kami makakatulong para po ma-empower po natin at ma-improve po natin ang ating mga processes po. Okay, okay po, ma'am. Uh, uh, and also, uh, okay, yes. and also, ma'am Marilu, yes, uh, the doctors, uh, in fairness to the doctor, by the way, last year I did a leadership training for all the chapter presidents of Philippine Medical Association. Okay. At, uh, siyempre, they devoted years of their lives in that study. Okay. And there's not much uh, teaching and training on bedside manners and leadership and support and so on. Kaya po, this is what I'd like to share with you. There's a very effective, and, and these doctors sometimes are the ones that push the nurses to resign. Kaya nga po, sa isang famous hospital, lahat ng mga nurses na mga bata, meron silang pin dito sa collar, the shape of an apple. So ang tanong daw sa kanila, why do you have that apple pin on your collar? Ang sagot po niya, an apple a day drives the doctors away. <laughs> biro lang po yun. So, <laughs> biro lang po yun. <laughs> okay. Yung biro mo naman, ang daming laman nun. That was very good. Okay. Totoo, sir. Okay. So, totoo yan. Totoo. Uh, 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 sige po, Mama Rilu. Uh, papasok ko lang po muna po. Roman, pwede ko masalita sige konti. Isa pa po. In reality, itong hospital namin, this is a group of hospitals all over the Philippines. Ace Medical Center. Ngayon, dito sa Cagayan de Oro, I'm proud to say na wala talaga kaming problema when it comes to hiring and selection of nurses. Ang dami kong applicants. You know, it's a word of mouth. Alam nila, usually the nurses are looking for jobs. Hindi na katulad noon na pag nag-apply ang nurse, eh, pahirapan mo pa, pabalik-balik ng ganun. Ganito, hindi na. Iba na sa akin ngayon. Once you apply, I will interview you immediately. And if you are really qualified to do the nursing job, I will accept you. Dahil hindi na ngayon panahon na magmamalaki tayo sa mga nurses natin. Kaya, awa ng Diyos, sabi ko, ang dami naming applicants. Hindi namin problema ang mga nurses dito sa Cagayan de Oro City. Wow, napakaganda po talaga, ma'am. Kasi kalimitan yes. po, eh, nagkakaroon po ng shortage sa supply ng nurses. Uh, mabuhay po kayo sa Cagayan de Oro po. Yes, wala uh, dito sa aming hospital. Po. Sir Francis, ipapakilala ko naman po ang ating pangalawang... Uh, Uh, featured and rep. Uh, pangalan niyo po ay si Sir James Peña Florida Amparo, uh, CEO, founder po ng Yovel East Ad- AgriVentures and We Will Rise Farmers Inc. from Dabao City po. Welcome po Sir James.
Hello, Sir James. Uh, James, good morning. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello. Narinig ka po morning. namin, sir. Uh-oh. Hello, no. Sir James? Hello, Sir James. Pwede na po kayo mag... Hello? Good morning po sa lahat. Apa. Pwede na po kayo magtanong kay Sir Francis po. Thank you, Prof. Roman, for giving a chance to us out sa show nyo. And uh, Sir Francis, I've been listening to you for, for the longest time. You're one of the best speakers. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yung company namin, organization, uh, for research and development in agriculture. Uh, as of now, uh, we have about almost 1,500 farmers na tinutulungan po ng, ng organization namin, ng company namin, which is Shovel East. And recently, uh, we launched, uh, we will rise, RICE, to purchase yung mga palay and pinibenta namin yung bigas ng mga farmers. Ang question ko siguro, Sir Francis, yung tawag dito, medyo yung ano eh, tumalak yung organization and uh, from before, we're just about 20, 30 farmers. As of now, we're almost more than 1,500 farmers. Uh, ano po yung advice na maibibigay nyo? Lalo na yung, yung ano yung sa akin, yung tapot, yung baba, yung sa lalong lumalaki na sa grupo na lumalaki yung operations. Ah, mm. uh, an organization of 10 people compared to an organization of 100 to 1,000 or 10,000, operates the same way. Kung kayo po ang pinaka-head ng organization nito, you will have your own inner circle. Yung pinaka-inner circle mo ang crucial. Eh. So there should be a continuous leadership training program that is being applied to all the inner circles. Kasi meron tayong prinsipyo sa leadership. You grow the leaders. The leaders grow the people. And every, collectively, everybody grows the organization. The, uh, the biggest challenge for an organization that's growing fast, uh, ito po ay kaitulat po ng BPO, nung biglang sumasabog sila, lumalaki, sa demand ng growth ng organization. Anybody who has two years of experience automatically becomes a team lead of a cluster of eight seats or eight people. At doon po nakaka-problema because they never had made it. I would like you to concentrate on training or sending your key leaders to, to leadership training. And they themselves will have their key leaders too. Ang tawag ko dito, a handful of people turn the whole world upside down. Yan po ang nakalagay sa scriptures. Jesus, one person, surrounded by 12. And by the way, out of the 12, yung isa Judas pa. So you have to face that reality. And yet, his concentration out of the 12, hindi po pantay-pantay. The 12 is divided into three circles. So, ang pinakamalapit po sa kanya is a set of two brothers. No minsan po, tinanong ko to eh, sino ba yung pinakamalapit na disciples or apostles niya? Sa, ang sagot ng ito, nahihirapan eh. Sabi nung isa, John, Paul, sabi ko, George and Ringo, hindi, Beatles yan. So, two sets of brothers, John and James, Peter and Andrew. So, the first circle becomes closest to Jesus. Doon siya nakakonsentrate. And then the next, set, the next set of circle is even farther from him. Pero he now has his closest circle to engage them. So, yun po, you have, to, you have to pick up kung sino yung mga key leaders mo and subject them to uh, effective leadership uh, training. Uh, that's, my, that's what I can share with you. Thank you so much, Sir Francis. So, You're welcome. You're welcome. Sir James, mayroon pa po kayong tanong? Kahit isa pa po? Hello, Sir James. Uh, ako po. Uh, May tanong po ako kay Sir James. Magkano uh, na ba ang durian ngayon? Balita ako tumaas na ang presyo. Uh, sir, mukhang na, na, nawala lang po siya sa internet. Pagbalik po natin, i-follow uh, po natin yung question. Sir, pangatlo po natin yung <laughs> guest po ay si... Uh, Ma'am uh, Madeline, Chef Mads, CEO, founder po ng CMC Consultancy and Orbits Constructions from Quezon City po. Welcome po, Chef, Chef Mads. 
Hello, good morning. Good Hello, morning. Yes, Chef ano, Matt. It was an exciting uh, topic for today and uh, thank you for uh, giving us a chance to to finally have some time with uh, Sir Francis Kong and of course you the trainer you. Sir Roman. You yeah. welcome po. So that so dati nababasa lang natin 'yan Roman sa book si Sir Francis Kong sa ano sa pharmatics natin. <laughs> <laughs> so so ayun po. So uh, definitely I'm from uh, Horeca, Horeca Restaurant Hotel and Caterers uh, Association. Mm-hmm. So medyo nasa F&B world po tayo but uh, meron din po akong side business which is the construction. Uh, definitely po uh, as a personal branding, no? Siyempre, you have to uh, be a uh, walking uh, product, eh. So, yun nga. Kaya nagkaroon din po ako ng side business, which is the construction. Kasi while doing the uh, the restaurant or putting up a restaurant, we need the construction. So, to partner mm-hmm. up with, yun po. So, mm-hmm. my question po is, um, to be honest, how to create a marketable uh, personal brand? Medyo mm. po kasi nowadays medyo ang ating uh, ang ating uh, branding ngayon how to place it uh-huh. is very different now because of the social media, the available apps yes. ongoing, the website. Mm. Nowadays kasi uh-huh. dati nung araw puro connection po how to place your brand. Eh. Ngayon po we have the social uh-huh. media na. So how to place it yes. po? How to, so it's going uh, to work. Uh, the social media presence, accessibility to public information dissemination will work in our favor. Yung nga lang, the motive and the approach will have to be very, very, to be very careful because just like any powerful thing, it can work for us, it can work against us. Ang advantage niyo po is because you are in business. So I will address you from the vantage point of doing business as or as kaninang earlier, when I was asked about personal branding, I was referring to the individual. Uh, hindi na po, uh, currently, I'm the brand ambassador of a telecom company addressing the SMSEs. So, ito po ang aking uh, idea na si share. Business today is all about building communities. Mm-hmm. And social media allows us the privilege to build our own communities. Sa mga community natin, nakakaroon tayo ng referral, nakakasila ang nagiging evangelist natin kung nagustuhan nila yung servisya natin. So, you don't deviate from the basic principles of doing business, which is delighting the customer, providing them with an excellent customer experience. And then, on the, on the back end of that, sa ating responsibility naman, is to make sure that we have operational efficiency to cut down on cost and wastage so that we can use the same resources and then uh, apply that to be able to help and, and, and aid and build, add more value to our customers. At pakatapos, what we can do is not to be shy and then to get them for referrals as well and to get them to talk about their positive experiences plus the not-so-positive one. Ang uh, aking uh, sinashare na idea is complaint is a gift. Eh. Do natin ma-address yung mga features na pwede natin improve it. Ang hinahanap po kasi ngayon ng mga bata at ang ating mga constituents ngayon is they want authenticity. Ayaw na nila yung mga nakpe-fake. So you can, you can come up with a marketing creative strategy but if it does not align with the very reality of what we provide, Magbabaklas po yan and backfire po yun. So, build a community. Ang ibig sabihin po ng community, ano pang added value na pwede kong ibigay sa aking customer kahit na nakasign na siya sa ating purchase point or order? Ano pang added information na may tutulong ko sa kanila? Kasi every time they have a need, they provide opportunities for us to do business. In whatever business you are in, kahit na public speaking, it's the same thing. We have built our community over the years. Kaya nga po ngayon, kapag inaaral ko yung mga nag invite sa akin, a high 70% are repeat clients. Mm-hmm. You cannot have sustainable business if you only have one sale. But you will always have sustainable business you have repeat sales. And you can do that by means of building a community 
using social media tools in order to access and give them access to communicate with you and provide ad value added services. I hope that helps. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it really helps. <laughs> may tanong ka pa oh, kayo? Thank you. Uh, hindi niyo pa uh, tanong Sir na, Francis. May tanong. Ah, sige po, Sir Francis. May tanong po ko kay, kay uh, Chef Mad. Uh, are you yes, related po, to Chef Curry? Uh, hindi po, nagbibiro lang ako. Because <laughs> si Chef Mad, are you related to Chef Curry? Nagbibiro lang ako. Chef yes, Curry. Yes, <laughs> Actually, Sir Francis, uh, celebrity chef po si Chef Mads. Uh, host Nux po siya naman. sa Net25. Yes. Uh, kailan po oh, mga show ninyo, okay. Sir uh, ma Chef Mads? Yan. Uh, nap nap napalitan siya dati, Monday to Friday. Now we are in weekends. So, Saturday and oh, Sunday na kami. Sana okay. makabisita kayong dalawa as a uh, market leader. Oh, but to, it, yeah. You know, to share, <laughs> to share our passion, to share yung some of these questionnaires din na meron ang mga ang ating mga negosyante and leaders in in our oh, in our different uh, in our different ano para naman ma ano namin ma mabigyan namin or matouch namin naman si Sir Francis Kong. Yan. Chef Mads, ano po ba yung yes. ano, program ninyo oh. sa Net25 para malaman oh. rin po ng yeah, Sir Francis? Yeah, uh, ito ang tahanan every weekend. Um, ito ang tahanan, it's uh, entertainment and variety. We have the uh, siyempre passion for uh, music, food, and also tinatalakay namin yung mga different aspect or problems or any na na-encounter namin inside the house. So definitely, of course, yung mga father and yung may mga business in in our tahanan, malamang maraming itatanong kay Sir Francis. And kay Sir <laughs> ano, Roman, of course. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. thank Sige you. Po, Sir, man, uh, you backstage, ka, backstage ka muna po namin. Wag po na po kayong aalis. <laughs> Sir Francis, meron pong ano, plug-in oh. question. Yung current president uh -oh. po ng Philippine uh, Nurses Association, national president po, si Dean Melvin Miranda po. Meron po siyang tatlong tanong. Uh -oh. Babasahin ko po, sir. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, how can, una po niyang tanong, how can we bridge generation gaps when facing challenges in an organization or institution and may need urgent decisions? Mm. By first understanding what the gaps are. Uh, ito po ay hindi exclusive doon sa nursing field. Ito po ay nangyayari all across industries. Ang pinaka-challenge po dyan, na pinakamalaking gap is the boomers. These are people born between 1946 and 1960 versus yung mga millennials. At hindi pa nila, hindi ko pa tinatouch yung Gen Z. Ibang-ibang po. Yung Gen Z, ito yung mga fresh graduates na pumapasok. By first understanding what are the generational differences, what are the general, what are the generational differences, what are the generational values, exposure, and context. Kaya nga po, hindi ako nagtuturo ng leadership without touching that field. Eh. So by understanding that, second, ito po ang lumang katuruan natin. Because I have the authority, I have the position, and I have the role, so... You guys follow what I say. Ay hindi na po nag yan. Ang importante po ngayon is I have to understand where they're coming from. And I may have to change my methodology of communications with them. Ito po ang uh, aming discussion with the hospital president yesterday. Sabi ko, the methods change, but the mission remains the same. Importante po, we have to humble ourselves and say, Paano pa talaga itong mga batang nag -nako? Where do they come from? What about their family? Even na po ang economic uh, uh, upbringing nila uh, compared to ours dati. No? And so I think the, the third thing to understand is uh, to give them a voice. To listen, really listen to them into what they're saying. And so uh, kung immediate naman po yan, do not, uh, the, the manner in which we communicate with them should not convey a manner of uh, rudeness or okay, brashness. One thing that you and I may not like, but it's a reality we have to accept. 
the younger generations now are extremely emotional and anxious. Saka yung they're so afraid of being judged. So, with that understanding po, yun lang pitch and tone of voice in an immediate situation can make the difference between the recipient of the communications, knowing whether I'm here to help you, we will fix this, or I'm here to bully you or to order you around. So, I think the burden of uh, adjustment is upon us, bilang the senior leaders. I hope that helps. Thank you po, sir. Meron pa pong pangalawang tanong ang president, ang national president po ng Philippine Nurses Association. Sir, ang second question niyo po, how leaders can effectively manage self-care when most of the time you are oriented to serve others? Napakahirap po na tanong yan kasi kung kayo po ay nasa isang regular job, I would tell you that you just make a routine and stick to the routine. Eh, minsan 24-7 po tayo, especially in cases of emergency. But the basic health rules applies na rin po eh. So you gotta give space for the, for the young, the, the nurses and everybody in the staff to have enough sleep and rest and enough time to recharge. Kasi po minsan yung dala ng immediate requirement makes us think na, hindi, kasi may emergency dapat doon natin. Pero kung kulang po ang sleep deficiency ng tao, kulang po yung kanilang health and nutrition and even the exercise, they respond to an emergency by creating more problems. They're not at the top of their game. So uh, it's very difficult. It's easy for me to say, but I understand where, where they're coming from. Kasi you deal with emergencies all the time. And even before I say anything else, I'd like to... Uh, I'd like to thank you for your sacrifice and your service kasi po, even during the height of the COVID-19, kayo pong frontliners. So it's very difficult, but people are not machines. We still need basic care. At isa sa mga malaking care na matatanggap nila is the understanding, inspiration, encouragement of their immediate leaders. So beyond that, I don't have much to, to share po. Napaka-full pack po ng information sa ka-wisdom ang sinirin niyo po, sir. Last na tanong na lang po ni Dean Miranda po ng President ng Philippine Nurses Association. Sir, when is the appropriate time that you need to give up as a leader in an organization or institution po? We all ten times hear, alam mo yung mga inexperienced, uh, inexperienced speakers and trainers say, you got to have great and wrong. You got to be great. E, kinopia lang naman si Jim Collins at si uh, no, Angela Duckworth. There are times when we have to quit. And these are the following circumstances. Number one, it breaches ethical standards. In other words, we are being forced to do things against our personal values. Para sa akin po, I've walked away from a lot of situations like that. I've turned down multi-million contracts because I just cannot accept what they would want me to do and what they want me to teach and what they're practicing. So ethical breach, uh, violation of personal values, it's not worth the corruption of the personal character. So secondly, when an organization does not treat their people well, you know that that organization will not sustain itself. If it's from the government, ang aking suggestion lang, let's be a positive force and a positive influence within our own sphere of influence and perhaps generate a little spark in a place. Hindi po lahat ng government institutions bad. Huh? There are many respectable institutions now that are very professional. And I should know, they've invited me to do training. So, but if there are areas na hindi maganda, I think you gotta walk away. And then, uh, quitting is when your personal health and danger and safety is in jeopardy. Walk away. It's not, it's not worth it. So, yun lang po ang nakikita kong mga mitigating circumstances where you would have to make the hard decisions po. Apart from that, it's good for our character to be strong going through the adversities of life and challenges. 
And it's even better if we can impart and be a spark of positive influence within our own sphere of, uh, in our community. So I hope, I hope that helps. Sir Francis, maraming maraming pong salamat. I'm sure na matutuwa po ang community ni Sir ni Dean Melvin Miranda ng Philippine Nursing Association po. Sir, um, tatawagin ko na po ka silang lahat. Magsama-sama na po tayo. Ulitin ko po si uh, Mama Chef Mads, Sir James, uh, Ma'am Marilu. Pasok na po tayo. Sama-sama na po tayong lahat. Uh, Sir Francis, meron nga po pala kayong tanong kay Sir James. No po? Andiyan na po si Sir James. Yung kanina pong naputol lang po para masagot po ni Sir James. Uh, ako po yung <laughs> nagbibiro lang kanina. Ito ang, uh, ang tawag ko sa kanya si Mr. Chairman. Ang tanong ko pala kay James, kung tumaas na ang presyo ng durian. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, uh, pabiro yung Sir Francis, pero ano, pero... Totoo po, no? before when I started durian, we, I have around 20 hectares of durian in Davao. Wow. Uh, joint venture oh. with the farmers. When we started, it's only 10 pesos farm gate price. Uh, 2021, we started uh, exporting to Malaysia. To Masa, around 30, 40. And when we able to open up the market in China, direct access na po tayo ngayon. Eh. Before kasi, pupunta ng Malaysia, Thailand, iba brand nila lang ang Philippine durian na from Malaysia, Thailand, and then saka dadalhin sa China. Nung nagkaroon ng direct access po ngayon, ang durian na natin na farm gate is around 60 to 70 pesos per kilo. And mm. farmers are mm. really earning. So in, in one hectare, uh, farmers are earning around, per harvest, around 400 to 500,000. So that's okay. really a big boost in our agri-industry. That, that's great. Uh, thank you for your contribution. And if we can just apply commercial farming and make it professional, uh, isa, isa lamang po ang ating uh, advice. We have to teach and train our farmers on financial literacy. Eh, kasi uh, they are at the mercy of the five, six, and the loans and the middleman. Pero kung tuturuan po naman natin sila on how to, uh, hindi ho po pwede maging overnight millionaires yan, pagmagandang harvest, uh, one week later, wala na yung pera nila. So that's one area that your organization will be able to provide help. Yes, actually, sir, anyway, before, uh, I just want to share, no, before, we're providing all the farmers need from seeds, fertilizer, and machineries. And then last 2020, takot na takot ako, sir, kasi I don't want to give cash to the farmers because of those mm. problems. And nakatakot for my company. But last 2020, uh, nag-risk kami. Kasi ang, alam mo, Sir Francis, ha, ang binibigay na interest sa farmers, 5% a week mm -hmm. ng mga loan shark. Talagang nakaawa. Walang mabubuhay so, sabi ka. Sa, Walang mabubuhay. Yeah, sabi ko, so as a, sabi ko, so as a, as a Christian company, sabi ko, let's try. No? So we gave uh, farmers cash. We started around 500,000 pesos last 2020. And God is good po, no? Uh, this 2022 pinaka na release namin is around 120 million from from 500,000 mm -hmm. started 2020 so na release namin na uh, financial assistance to our our farmers and our collection rate is around 99.7 percent so Galing. it's all by the glory of god and i'm sure ang focus na po yung mga wives dahil yung mga babae yung magaling humawak ng pera <laughs> Sir Francis, may common mentor po kami ni Sir James, uh, si oh. uh, former uh, Department of Agriculture Secretary uh, William Darpo. Actually po, nung last na uh, go negosyo mentor, siya po nagbumulong sa akin kung ano po yung advocacy po talaga ni Sir James. Kaya nga po, natutuwa nga po ako na paunlakan niya rin po kami ngayon na okay. i-share rin po ang kanyang advocacy sa inyo po. Sir Francis, uh, okay. wrap up na po tayo. Uh, ano po yung mga, bago ko po kayo, uh, kayo magbigay ng message po para sa amin na parting uh, inspirational message po, may share lang po ako sa inyo yung talagang quote nyo na talagang binitbit ko po hanggang ngayon. Direct patingin lang po natin kay Sir Francis. 
Ayan po, uh, yan po sir yung uh, talagang binitbit ko po nung ako po'y dapa na talagang lagi ko po yung binabasa sir. Kung baga, ayan po yung sinabi niyo po, words cannot uh, just be trusted, actions can also be questioned, but patterns of behavior reveals character and you can rarely be wrong at it. This is why we need to constantly, deliberately, consistently do good, say the truth, and perform with excellence. This is what builds character, and eventually, this is what builds a good, solid, and reputable brand. Sige, uh, direct pakitanggal na po. Kaya yung po, sir, yung nagpatibay po sa akin talaga, <laughs> kumbaga, branding Ganda. na share ko po sa inyo. Uh, sir, maaari na po kayo magbigay ng um, uh, inspirational message po para po sa estudyante, business professionals, at mga entrepreneurs na kasama po natin ngayon at sa mga makikinig po. Well, una sa lahat ako po ay nagpapasalamat kay Prof in uh, guesting me in this program. At uh, very admirable po naman kasi yung mga guests nila. Hindi po ito yung mga theories, ito po ay actual practitioners that you can all learn from. So I'd like to encourage that you stay tuned and uh, Malaki, malaki rin po ang challenge kay, uh, kay Professor yan. Eh. Kasi paano siya mag invite ng mga resource people na hindi yung mga nakifik ng resume, nakukunya rin mga experts na hindi naman experts po. So, ginawa na niya yung trabaho para sa inyo. So, carefully vetted, carefully chosen. And there's uh, so much that you can learn from this channel. So, Instead of playing Mobile Legend, Minecraft, and doing all those e-sabong and e-gaming, manood na lang. So you get value out of it. Uh, ako naman, uh, at my age right now, the years ahead of me are shorter and fewer than the years behind me. Pero all throughout the years, let's still do the same. The mission remains the same. Let's get the blessing, process it, use it to the max, and then enhance it and then pass it on to other people. Because this world needs a brighter spot in the brighter space. And in, the, in order to do so, when the heart is right, although I'm not promising the task will be easy, but the results will be right. But you start with, with this one. Start with the right thoughts and uh, the things in your mind. The thoughts in your mind are more important than the things in your life. Always remember that. Kaya ano ang mga things at mga thoughts na ipapasok mo rito depends on input. Where are you going to get it? So I want to thank you for inviting me over and uh, the rest of the listenership and the viewership. Please uh, stay tuned to this channel and get the most out of it. Can you imagine? Libre pa. If you are going get, to get me, you're going to pay me a fortune. But uh, this is free, so enjoy the benefit. <laughs> Sir Francis, maraming maraming pong salamat at sa lahat You're po welcome. na nanonood po sa atin, sa, sa lahat po na sumama po sa atin ngayon, maraming maraming pong salamat. Ito po, napanood nyo na naman po isang napaka-meaningful uh, and relevant na uh, sa ating episode na kasama po natin ang talagang iniidolo na inspirational speaker po <laughs> ng bayan, si Sir Francis Kong. Uh, wag muna po kayong aalis, Sir Francis. So mag-backstage lang po kayo. At uh, sa susunod po mga episodes, panoorin niyo po uli kami dito po sa Market Leader every second and fourth Thursday, uh, Fridays of the month from 4.30 to 5.30 po. Maraming maraming pong salamat. Bye-bye po!